Our cows OP. Do they go make you go moo? <laughs> moo. Moo moo. Tears zoo video. Ayo. The builds in the game. And they really the are. High population is a good indicator that a build is pretty powerful in the current meta. Is However, it? I think in the case of cattle, there are a lot of other factors which make. Why is that cow chained? What the hell? Are cattle low tier builds that are simply propped up by human activity, or are they a genuinely powerful high tier that would dominate with or without human help? <laughs> that fear. To find out. <laughs> I got on top of them. Our bovines are bovines OP. A powerful faction of builds called bovines, which they are. They bison, can feel milk. Cape buffalo, water buffalo, and historically the auric. I and like there bison. Are a few differences between them, which we'll discuss in a tier list at the end of the video. They all share a few common traits. Bovines have an exceptionally high HP stat. It takes a lot of damage to bring them down, pretty much requiring team mm, strats mm. from multiple predator players at once. And unlike some other high HP builds, bovines don't just sit there eating the damage. No, they can strike back with incredible force. Hey. Their sharp, sturdy horns can inflict massive damage on anything what the unlike heck? enough to be caught in their path. And Whoa. unlike antlers, which fall off and need to be regrown each year, the horns can really? Have, they have year round. I don't know that deers lost their horns. Their mobility stat is kind of mid, definitely not high enough to reliably escape a predator. And their intelligence and stealth are both below average for a mammal. However, <laughs> look at its face! <laughs> look at his face! For a mammal. However, neither of these stats are all that integral to the bovine build's main strategy. While low <sighs> does create a potentially exploitable vulnerability to things like traps and lower their resistance to distractions and intimidation tactics, Oh my god! so low that bovines aren't able to utilize team combos. Quite the contrary, in fact. The herd defense tactics employed Epic by a competent herd of cattle makes them borderline impossible to defeat in a group. And since they have such a high HP stat, this gives Cow's teammates a lot of time to regroup and launch a counterattack if one of their herd members goes down and needs a save. You, your call was heard. Oh my god. Combat moves. The pun. The all have the ruminant ability, which enables them to gain XP and level up all just from eating grass. This might seem like a boring ability, but its usefulness is actually hard to overstate. <laughs> the Minecraft. This perk essentially means that one of the most abundant plants the four be, chamber the stomach. source of XP, completely mm. removing the need to search and forage for food. This means a player doesn't need to invest evolution points into things like climbing, digging, keen eyesight, or intelligence to be able to find food, and can reinvest those points into other stats, which is how cattle are able to support such a high base stat total. Let's go! push the mammal faction's signature move, lactation, to its limits. Cow milk is one of the most nutritious substances in the game. I want milk now. It allows new cattle players to level up extremely quickly. <laughs> This helps keep their offspring safe, as it means they spend less time Oh, the looks so cute! Class, and quickly reach a size where hardly anything could realistically <laughs> take them down alone. The cattle's oh, signature move is Goring Rush, an extremely powerful head bash attack that Jesus deals Christ. damage and inflicts incredible knockback, forcing the target back a good distance and also likely knocking the target prone, which allows for easy follow-up attacks. Their sharp hooves damage to prone enemies, so this straightforward Ooh. combo can be devastating if it catches an opponent off guard. So that they're like it when it comes the hell diver bugs. The stomp on you. Kick as well, but it's more of a stomp than anything. They don't have the flexibility or power to headshot someone like a horse can. They also cannot deal damage with their bite since they don't have upper teeth. Not a super big deal, but biting is a powerful option to have in a pinch, so it's at least worth that watching. horse. Now let's get into the cattle's weaknesses and counterplay. So they can't so bite. The cattle's low I actually did not know that they couldn't bite. I just assume any animal can bite you. <laughs> I just assume any animal can bite you. It's probably safer for my hand, you know. But damn, interesting. Intelligence stat. Its resistance to mental status conditions like intimidation, distraction, or trickery is reduced. Intimidation is a pretty common tactic employed by a variety of different builds, from predators to omnivores to herbivores. Intimidation is one of the most effective tactics against cattle, 
and can often result in a cow losing a battle that it very easily could have won if it had not been scared away. And conversely, <laughs> if a cow that it very easily could have won if this. it had not been scared away. And oh conversely, if a cow does decide to take the offensive, distractions can easily divert the attack, causing it to completely miss. While this is, of course, extremely risky, overcommitting to an attack oh. and whipping can oftentimes mean the difference between decisive victory and crushing defeat. Oh Advanced man, players will even be able poor Yug. A combination of intimidation and distraction to kite cattle in specific directions, enabling them to control entire herds, which is what has allowed human mains to capture huge <laughs> numbers of cattle. Cattle are known for their goring rush attack, which, while powerful, is imperfect. Many builds put mm -hmm. a ton of points into the ability Concussive Force Resistance, enabling them to throw out headbutt attacks without much risk. Cows Damn. have some blunt force resistance, but not enough that headbutts and charging attacks are without risk. In fact, at high speed, cattle can easily take lethal damage in a full used head smash. Player at full force with their charging attack. Bull was damaged by recoil. <laughs> oh, so their weakness is the fact that they're easily intimidated. Interesting. For for such big creatures, it's very interesting just how much they can be intimidated by so little. Builds like the goat or bighorn sheep can easily best a cow in 1v1 combat, even though the cow's stats are much higher in a vacuum. Builds with forward-facing horns can also present quite a challenge to bovine builds, as bovine horns tend to face to the side and are more used for swiping and slashing at opponents. Damn! This means that in a direct confrontation, Sharp antlers can deal a lot of damage to a bovine player while keeping them out of reach of connecting with their own horn attacks. There aren't enough different bovines for a proper full length tier list video, but I think I can do a Take quick care, Isaac. Of ranking to close out this video. The basic cattle comes in at a solid B tier. Definitely not a B, bad build, but one with a lot of weaknesses that high tier builds can exploit. Their main advantage nom, nom, the other, nom. more wild cattle variants, is that due to selective breeding by humans, the domestic cattle are actually the best in the game at milk production, and therefore their offspring level up and reach larger sizes much quicker. Definitely a much more beginner than uh. although at the end of your playthrough, there's a good chance a human will eliminate you. Also in B2, <laughs> you have the Yak, Poor. a mountainous variant of the cattle. Poor cows. For slightly They're lower delicious, base though. In exchange for better resistance to the cold and better mobility on icy or rocky terrain. Same basic weaknesses as the common cattle, but its ability to survive the cold Himalayan mountains means that it has less natural enemies to contend with. It's lonely at it's the top. Oh. At the bottom of A tier, we have the bison. The bison are the largest Let's go. Trade some of their power stats for extra health and defense. As a result, they have shorter horns and We actually have uh, reserves for for them and they're protected. Poor bison, it's not that many of them in Lots some places. On their head meaning that they can tank a lot more damage, but also can't deal as much damage using Goring Rush. This can be a bit of a problem, as being able to one-hit a wolf would really help discourage aggressive teams of wolves from attacking them. Since they can't get a one-hit kill without a crit, some wolves get pretty brazen in their attacks. Oh damn. Still, they're Poor tied little with the moose as the premier tank of the North. They're tied with the moose, and hey, Pilata, welcome in. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Man. Look at that moose. No fucks given. Goatee as well. I dig the style. North America server and have favorable matchups against the grizzly bear. So Seriously? definitely a solid high tier. Next in A tier we have the water buffalo, a bovine build with roughly equivalent stats to the common cattle. A water buffalo? Massive horns. They get a mobility bonus in shallow water. They're so which, pretty. That busted of an ability is still pretty nice to have. Water buffalo have to be able to fight off one of the most powerful solitary predator builds in the game, the Bengal tiger. Anything Whoa. That you take on this thing has to be at least a tier. The human player base in the India server is also notably less aggressive. I did not know there were players, water which buffaloes. Which makes them a lot more viable in that meta. But when it comes to hostile meta games, nothing compares to Africa. And despite the abundance Expert of difficulty. predators like the lion and hyena, and territorial giants like the rhino and elephant, the Cape Buffalo is still notorious for being one of the most dangerous builds in the game. It's one of Africa's Big Five, a status given to builds which are notorious- Damn, look at the Big Fives! Man, they're so pretty and so cute! Hi, Soda! Hello, welcome in.
Oh, they're so deep. It's difficult for humans to defeat 1v1. And so I think for this reason, the African Cape Buffalo ranks first among the bovine builds. But it's Interesting, crack S but not S tier. Because it's overshadowed by the wildebeest in the African savanna meta. Bovine maze are noobs! Which is not a type of cattle or buffalo, but rather is essentially an antelope with higher stats. May not be as bulky as the Cape Buffalo, but it does have a higher base speed stat. And this speed is pretty crucial for being able to escape an ambush from Africa. Holy shit! Builds. This speed is pretty crucial for being able to escape an ambush Whoa. from builds. And for punishing opponents who don't respect the Wildebeest's range, leading to the Wildebeest being vastly more successful than the Cape Buffalo. This level of supreme optimization is what it takes <laughs> what? to crack S tier in the African server. This is now, so this cool! will never be S tier. In fact, I think there's a pretty strong argument to be made that prior to humans unlocking the gunpowder technology on the tech tree, bison were the undisputed S tier of North America. And although they were all but annihilated from the server, their numbers are slowly but surely returning to healthy levels. It's quite an inspiring- Oh, that's- that's interesting that their numbers are going back up. Damn. ...story, which you can check out right now on Curiosity Stream. Curiosity! Curiosity Stream is a I like streaming I like his um, thousands of documentaries and his videos they're always super cool the documentary and you learn a new thing or two about animals titles, quite often such as out of the cradle and leaps in evolution you can get access for just over a dollar a month by going to curiositystream.com slash you and choosing the annual plan You'll that's actually affordable to when you do. for curiosity so you can watch my videos Johnny Harris's videos real life lore's videos and a bunch of other awesome creators videos early do check it out when you get done here. Hmm. There's a lot of great content That's cool. to watch, and I wouldn't want you to miss Cinema's out. first so again, kiss. Go to curiositystream.com slash Tirzu to see Return of the Buffalo, <laughs> plus a giant library of <laughs> other <laughs> content <laughs> to watch. Thanks again for watching, and I'll yeah, see you Yeah, dollar for time. streaming services is pretty cheap. This is a cool video. Are cows OP? I would say they're not OP after watching that video. But uh, water buffaloes are pretty pog. <laughs> I was like, damn. Learn a thing every day.